Good day children. Welcome to today's class. Today we will continue with English New Voices. Today we are doing part 2. In the last class I told you that we will be, we'll begin with our new poem. And in the last class we learned new words. Then we learned some meanings. And today we will learn the poem. So let's get started children. As I told you last time the uh, poem is about ducks. Yes, ducks are water birds. Ducks are water birds. You usually find ducks swimming in water like ponds, lakes, rivers. Yes, and you will see the Babies of the ducks along with the ducks. And what are they called as? The babies of the ducks are called as ducklings. The babies of the ducks are called as ducklings. And the ducklings also swim along with the mother duck in the water. And when they are out of the water, the baby ducks, the ducklings, they keep on following mother duck wherever she goes. Okay. Now, now, we have learned about gender of nouns. Yes, feminine gender and masculine gender. Okay, so a duck is a feminine gender and a drake is a masculine gender. Okay, a duck is a feminine gender and a drake is a masculine gender. The fem duck is usually brown in color and the drake is, its body is brown and uh, white mix. Its head is greenish blue. Okay. So, you can easily make out if whether the, the it is a drake or a duck. <coughs> now, the ducks, they have paddle feet okay ducks have paddle feet which helps them to swim in water webbed feet okay they have webbed feet like paddles which help them to swim in the water and they have got flat beaks the beaks are flat bills beaks are also called as bills yellow beaks Okay, they have got yellow beaks and they are, the beaks are flat. Okay, it's not very pointed. See, if you see, little round shape. Okay, it's flat. And the web feet help the ducks to swim in the water. Now, if you see this picture here, the ducks are taking a dip in the water. Okay, dabbling. I told you the meaning last in the last class. Dabbling means dipping in the water. Yes, the uh, ducks, they dip in the water in search of food and for fun also. Okay, and their tails are up. Okay, their tails are up. They'll keep on shaking their tails and they dip in the water either to take food or just for fun also. They keep on doing that again and again. That is called as dabbling. Okay. Now. <coughs> Let's. Can, do you know this character? Do you know this character? Donald Duck. Yes. The famous cartoon character. Donald Duck. Donald Duck is a famous cartoon character. There are many cartoon series or series of Donald Duck, even movies of Donald Duck. Okay, it's a very famous Disney character. Okay, let's begin with the poem, children. Poem number 14, Ducks Ditty. Written by Kenneth Graham. Now, every time if you see, uh, most of the time, uh, the poet's name is given. In the uh, at the end of the poem or the beginning of the poem, 
okay so this poem is written by kenneth graham okay so let's begin the poem all along the backwater through the rushes tall ducks are a dabbling up tails and all ducks tail drakes tails yellow feet a quiver yellow bills all out of sight busy in the river everyone for what he likes we like to be heads down tails up dabbling free high in the blue above swift swirl and call we are down a dabbling up tails and all let's say the poem one more time and you all are going to repeat after me poem number 14 ducks ditty written by kenneth graham all along the backwater through the rushes tall ducks are a dabbling up tails and all one more time all along the backwater through the rushes tall ducks are a dabbling up tails and all ducks tails drake tails yellow feet a quiver quiver Ye- yellow bills all out of sight busy in the river one more time ducks tails drake tails yellow feet a quiver yellow bills all out of sight busy in the river everyone for what he likes we like to be heads down tails up dabbling free one more time everyone for what he likes we like to be heads down tails up dabbling free high in the blue above swift swirl and call we are down a dabbling up tails and all again high in the blue above swift swirl and call we are down a dabbling up tails and all so this poem is about the ducks having fun in the water in the backwater the backwater is near the rushes tall that means tall tall trees that are growing all around the water and the ducks are dabbling that is i told you dipping in the water and when they are dipping in the water the tails are all up yes now ducks tails and drakes tail ducks are also dabbling in the water drakes are also dabbling in the water right uh, yellow feet a quiver okay their feet are they are always moving their feet yellow bills means the beaks when they when they dip in the water you cannot see their beaks right yellow beaks all out of sight busy in the river they are all busy finding food in the 
river yes everyone for what he likes we like to be now the ducks are all enjoying in the water even we like to be one of like one of the ducks heads down tails up dabbling free having fun in the water dipping the water again and again high in the blue above means high up in the sky swifts whirl and call swifts are birds yes i told you last time swifts are a kind of bird that fly very fast okay they whirl that is they go round and round in the sky in circles and they are calling they are calling the ducks we are down a dabbling up tails and all okay high in the blue above swifts whirl and call we are down a dabbling up tails and all they are also saying we also want to be like the ducks okay now next let's see one activity children now find the hidden word find the hidden word let's see the hidden word in the word along can you tell me what is the hidden word in the word along long l o n g long and one more o n on yes now your second word through the hidden word is rough r o u g h rough okay now next rushes the hidden word is us also and she also right now yeah for next word is yellow can you tell me the hidden word yes it is low the hidden word is low next bills can you tell me the hidden word here the hidden word is i l l ill okay now here the hidden word is hat and at okay now here down what is the hidden word here o w n own heads what is the hidden word here h e he okay so many a times in the same word we you can find so many hidden words okay children learn the poem and see you in the next class till then goodbye sai ram thank you